managing director. And he often says, who have we got on our bench? So we talked about, the, you know, a bit about, about rugby, you know, and, and I know you probably all sort of support the Crusaders. It's a bit of a shame because I put the Highlanders, but so I've got the last laugh this year. But, um, you know, the, 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 the rugby game now, all the guys come off the bench. So, you know, they're all trained to come off and they're all trained to play. And they'll come on and keep the performance at a high level. So in a business sense, we look for people who can be on our bench. And things like, you know, we've got training like, like Sam's on the course that Brian talked about. Because we want people like Sam to be on our bench. So we look around, and the key thing is, we, yes we want talented people, yes we want skilled people. Brian may have already said it, but the, the people we, that we really want are the people with the right attitude. And we can train people, but we can't train necessarily the attitude. So those are the people who get ahead, the people who have the aspiration in the business. And, and as Sam said, it doesn't matter what you start off doing. Um, we've got plenty of people who started off driving trucks, who in some cases are general managers or business owners now, and are wealthy people. And may have been thought of in a school sense that actually they didn't do that well at school. That school just didn't suit them until they got out to work. So there's, there's lots and lots of opportunities. Um, yes, there's the, there's, the, there's the university pathway and that, that will open up lots of doors. <coughs> but we're also a company that will train on the job. And from my perspective, you know, I didn't go to university. I went and worked in the laboratories at the aluminium scouter and studied while I worked. And the company supported me and I got qualified by doing that. There's many ways you can go and do it. So, you know, you've got to think about that as well. You know, there's just not one, one pathway, there's heaps of pathways. You've got lots and lots of opportunities. But if there's one thing I'd say you should start doing, you're all about 14, yeah? Still a couple of years yet. When, when, you turn, when you turn 16, start getting your license. We, we have a huge problem about, we'd love to get more young people in our business. And you know the thing that stops us? Don't have their license. And, and yes, we have a lot of trucks and it's important to us, but lots of other employers have the same issue. You go, and you want to be a sparky, be an apprentice, you turn up and there's two of you there, and you've got your license and you haven't, I'm going to pick you. Because you're going to be more useful to me. It's a simple thing, and it's also going to mean that you've actually got some mobility to get to jobs. So, you know, we do struggle to see, I don't know why, but it takes a while, you know, so at 16, it's still going to take you minimum a year and a half to get your license, full license. If you do a defensive driving course, or 18 if not. But if you're leaving school and you wanted to come and work for us, and you had a full class one license, we have got 18 year olds working for us. We've got 18 year olds who are driving trucks and loving it. And you know, they'll be there for a long time and they'll go up because they've got lots of opportunities. 